Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of our review of the Gigabyte G1 Sniper 2 motherboard and this part of the review will take a look at the easy smart response feature that Gigabyte uh, has included in this motherboard and uh, if you recall correctly in order to set up a the Intel smart response technology you have to go through multiple steps you have to course plug in your SSD and you have the hard drive and if you already have a hard drive installed and you already have a an operating system installed that hard drive since you are going to have to set it up to raid mode you will have to then reinstall your OS and uh, reboot and of course do uh, and then run the Intel smart response software now what Gigabyte has done of course is automate this feature similar to what they have done with the setting up um, they have done this with setting up Easy Raid. Uh, they have done this before and on regular, just on ra running two drives on RAID or multiple drives. Uh, that was a very convenient feature to use. And in order to do that, let me just exit this software, is you actually download the Easy Smart Response uh, program from uh, Gigabyte's website. And um, unfortunately, I, I it, doesn't seem to be included in the driver uh, CD, but I checked out the uh, the uh, official product page for G G1 Sniper 2, and it says that it is capable of easy smart response. So let us try that now. I'm going to set up the easy smart response software, as you can see there. And I don't download this from their website, so it should be the latest version at the time of the review. What will happen is it will, as I said, it will automate everything. So what will happen is it once you, it will go through several reboots and uh, uh, install the necessary drivers and go into the BIOS and set that up properly for you. And uh, now let's try running the program. Let's see if we can find it. There we go. Easy, smart response. This is basically all you need to do. It will, it will show you this uh, window right here. It says, warning, your system will be set to RAID mode. As you saw currently in the touch BIOS, that it was set in IDE mode, which is the default. I have my uh, SSD plugged in to end the hard drive with the OS installed and currently running at into the SATA 6 port of the Intel motherboard. And uh, see, RAID system will be set to RAID mode. It will restart twice when the setup is done. Continue, OK, and cancel. Of course, we're going to hit OK. And I might speed if it takes a while. I will when I edit this video. I will uh, speed it up so it uh, so it uh, doesn't uh, take too much time when you watch it. But uh, I'll make sure that you you see what's happening. All right. Let me just uh, zoom out the camera and hit OK. All right, uh, everything seems fine now. And uh, if you look here in the very bottom, it says Intel RST service is not running. So let's uh, run that and let's see when uh, we can enable that or if it's still working. Hmm, there we go. Current status, your system is functioning normally. Oh, it's actually part of the uh, all SATA and all data in the SSD drive will be destroyed. Okay, so this is still part of the uh, the uh, application of the uh, Easy Smart Response utility. Okay, so it actually popped this window up. It says all the data in the SSD drive will be destroyed, and of course I have nothing in that hard drive right now. So I in that SSD right now, so I have no worries as long as the hard drive with the operating operating system stays intact, and I don't need to install that. Just click OK.
Okay, uh, now everything seems to be working fine now. Uh, let me check the Intel RST. And it says Intel Rapid Storage Technology, a new volume was found. So it looks like it's working. Let's uh, open up that application. Enhanced mode is enabled, Intel Rapid Storage Technology. So there you go. As you can see, it was very simple. It took, uh, took less than five minutes, actually. It took about uh, uh, well, since I have, I'm talking in the, in the in between, so it probably around took around five minutes from the moment I clicked it. And uh, okay, there we go. Thanks for watching, and uh, let's continue on with the rest of the review.